Today, the Amethyst is en route to the Gulf of Mexico, where it will attempt to load up two giant decommissioned oil rigs bound for Amman. At the helm is Captain Yevgeny Nikityuk, who's been in the ocean-going heavy lifting business for 11 years. Double 10. London Star, London Star, pilots. The next few days, we'll see his ship tested, not only by some of the biggest cargo on the seas, but also by weather that pushes them to the brink of disaster. And we have seven squalls appears. The wind speed up to 55 knots. In recent years, global industries like oil and gas have demanded ever heavier cargoes be transported across the globe. Single items can weigh up to 50,000 tons, and that creates a real problem. The weights of these things is just absolutely mind-boggling. Just imagine trying to move that from A to B. It would become almost impossible. Things like road and rail, you just can't move a modern oil rig like that. And the old solution of dragging them using tugs just wasn't cutting it. So an entirely new approach was needed. The only viable solution is to transport these exceptional cargoes by sea. But to do that requires an exceptional ship. Enter the Amethyst, one of heavyweight ocean transportation's most advanced vessels. This is a class of huge heavy lift ships and they're just awesome in scale. They're enormous and they can lift things which are so heavy you just can't lift and transport them by any other means. I find uh, this type of shipping very, very interesting. Each project, each cargo is totally different. We are uh, loading and discharging cargo all over the world. And uh, it's just an amazing uh, type of shipping. This ship's deck is an incredible 600 feet long and 158 feet wide. It's so big that no less than 16 Statues of Liberty would fit onto it. The deck can also accommodate both of these enormous oil rigs, just. But they tower over 200 feet above sea level. Imagine trying to move a massive oil rig weighing tens of thousands of tons. And worse than that, it's not at all hydrodynamic. It's not got a beautiful, sleek hull like a boat. It's basically a massive square. So moving these things have become more or less impossible. As the amethyst approaches the rigs, the 26-strong crew prepare the deck for the colossal cargo. So now they are putting the stages down on the main deck. The rigs have a combined weight of 25,000 tons. And that presents a fundamental engineering challenge. Now, the most obvious problem of carrying such heavy cargo on the deck of a ship is the strength of, of the deck itself. The Amethyst has a very, very, very long deck. So when it tries to pick up a load, if the load was very heavy and just concentrated right in the center of the deck, it might try to talk out the whole ship. The front of the ship would hit the back of the ship. A deck of very thick steel would stop it caving in, but it would also make the ship far too heavy. In fact, it has a very thin deck. The thickness of the steel is tiny compared to the area. Without any additional stiffening, it's going to buckle like a piece of paper under these loads. The solution comes from dry land, from inside skyscrapers. The deck is only one inch thick, But underneath it, there's a lattice structure connecting it to a second thin deck. 
The lattice is comprised of very specifically shaped steel beams. Their cross-section is like a capital I, just like the I-beams that hold up skyscrapers. Even when immense force presses down on them, the shape should prevent any distortion and protect the thin top skin of the deck. And that's going to increase the stiffness without increasing the weight very much, because at the end of the day, this vessel needs to float.